guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials and finally I'm doing a body paint tutorial um, with a cosplay twist I guess this is just like a straight up cosplay but whatever um, so today we're doing Raven from Teen Titans and before anybody starts roasting me in the comments about how she wears a black leotard okay listen the inspiration pick that I was looking at she had a purple one because all the background was purple and stuff so I went with it so if you want to still roast me in the comments fine I deserve it <laughs> but in all seriousness I'm super excited to be finally doing a body paint anything so if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it obviously hit that subscription button and hit the bell so that way YouTube will tell you eventually if I post we hope it works here um, but yeah, and yes, I'm going back to my comic book style thing. So the first thing that I did was to cover my eyebrows with some glue stick. If you guys want to see a tutorial on that, I'll have it linked in the cards. This is specifically so that this video is not like three hours long. Um, and then once I did that, I just applied the palest foundation I could find. I had to go to um, Sephora and get a sample of the Cover FX um, Power Play foundation. Realistically, I should have gotten something that's more hydrating because my skin is pretty dry to begin with, but it is what it is. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face and make myself super pale. So next thing I did was try to highlight with the same exact foundation that I was using because I forgot to grab a really pale concealer. Um, this wound up being completely useless because I wound up doing something else later, which I'll show you guys in a second. One thing though you definitely don't want to forget is to apply some of that same foundation down your neck or any exposed skin for obvious reasons. You don't want to wind up being a different color when you're cosplaying a character you know what I mean like you want everything to be cohesive same way if you're applying your own foundation you want to blend down your neck so you make sure that everything works well since I'm done using all my liquid and cream products I'm gonna go ahead and set everything so I can go in with some powder stuff. okay so I lied um, before I do like all the contouring and stuff I had to do my eyebrows not having eyebrows kind of freaks me out a little bit I don't know. I, it's not a good look for me. Um, Raven has way thinner eyebrows than I do though. So that's why I had to block them out in the first place and I'm going to go ahead and draw them in. For some reason, every comic book character has really thin eyebrows. Eh, it, it's just a look I guess. So I went ahead and did this and I actually wound up softening the look because it looked pretty harsh and it kind of gave her angry eyebrows on accident. Kind of softened it a little bit with some of the contouring that I did later. So if you overdo it a little bit, you can always go back in and fix it. So for the contouring part, it's going to be different for everybody. Um, in the picture that I was looking at, she had her eyes a little more sunken in in the front towards the bridge of her nose. Um, and there were some shadows on the outside part of her eye, kind of in the crease. And her nose is a lot more even across the bridge than mine is. Mine is thinner at the top and gets wider closer to the bottom. So I took a like grayish brown kind of eyeshadow since um, the foundation I have on right now is super, super pale. So I kind of wanted something that would work well with that. Um, and give me that kind of like shadowed look because um, Raven's character doesn't actually wear a lot of makeup at least not that I've noticed so I want to keep it looking as natural as possible while still changing my face shape a little bit so a general rule of thumb to have is anytime that you contour something you want to complement it with a highlight this is going to make it look more realistic because if you think about it Anytime you see a shadow on something, it always has a light source. So you want to take that same kind of concept and do it with makeup. So for this especially, since I'm changing kind of 
the way some of my features look, like the bridge of my nose, I want it to look straighter. I'm going to complement that contour that I just did with a little bit of highlight. Granted, my nose still has a bump in it, but who cares? <laughs> and I also realized that I didn't need a concealer that was lighter. I could have just used a really, really light powder. So if you have a white powder around, there you go. <laughs> Next, per the picture that I was looking at, I did some more contouring on my face. One, to kind of change my face shape, and two, because she also had some uh, shadows in the picture that I kind of wanted to emulate later. So I went ahead and did a little um, contouring on my Cupid's bow, which, I don't know, turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> um, and then I also contoured on my, um, under my cheekbones like I would normally do. You definitely want to keep in mind the shape of the face of the character that you're doing, because you want to kind of emulate their face shape. So like if her face is more angular, I definitely want to do that contour a little bit sharper when I contour other things to make my face look more angular because my face is a little bit rounder and ovally I guess. Yeah, it's kind of ovally. So that all really is going to change depending on what you're working with and what you're trying to, to look like at the end. So Raven has a very distinct uh, diamond on her forehead. So to do this I just drew out a diamond shape kind of split it into four sections and then made one section like a pink and one section a black and then left the other two kind of alone and that's how you get that kind of diamond -y effect and then I went over with um, some black body paint and just a thin brush and outlined the outside part of it so it looked like it had edges basically now for the lips, there is two ways you can do this, either with body paint or with like a purple lipstick. Um, but essentially, if you have a purple lipstick, you just want to do the same steps. Apply a darker color as kind of your base and then add a lighter color or a white on the inside to give you kind of a highlighted look. It's essentially an ombre lip, so there's that. So now I'm going to start doing the cape and the leotard bodysuit thing that she's wearing. Um, I started off doing the blue first just to give myself kind of an idea of where I was going to put the cape and then I realized, duh, she has a little medallion thing over here. So then I went in with the purple and kind of put that base color down. When you're using any kind of water activated paints, the more water you add, the less opaque it's going to be. And same thing as if you don't put enough water, the harder it is going to be to blend. So you really want to make sure that you take your time and figure out how much water um, you need to put into your paints so that way you can get the kind of finish you want and you don't have to keep going over it a million times. I have done that plenty of times. Trust me, once you get the hang of how much water to put in your paints, it's going to make your life so much easier. And that'll also help when you're using yellow because yellow dripping into, or any light color, or any dark color really, dripping into all the hard work you just did, it's not fun. <laughs> but I went ahead and did that and then um, just kind of did the same technique that I did with the diamond with the coloring on the inside of that gem. And then just filled in the rest of the blue for the cape. So one tip I have for blending the colors in for the gem, um, so that they don't look so like harsh I guess, um, is to take just a teeny teeny bit of water on your brush and essentially, kind of like when you're blending your eyeshadow, just kind of move it around like that. So that way the colors kind of blend into each other because with the kind of look that I'm going for in this one, I was going more for realism instead of like comic-y nice, kind of. Um, that'll give it more of a realistic kind of look, even though this kind of came out really cartoony. But I'm kind of okay with that. I don't know. Hopefully that made some sense. <laughs> then I went in with more shading, um, starting with some black body paint just under where the cape is going to be resting on, or where it would be resting if it was real, um, on my chest. That's going to be the darkest part 
where the shadow is going to be so when I put some eyeshadow on and I kind of blend it, it's going to look a little bit more realistic. Um, and I also took some body paint and outline the, what do I call it? I forgot what it was called already. The jewel pendant thing, um, holding the two sides of the caves together. Um, yeah. And then aside from that, I just kind of took into account what a cape looks like when it's draped over your shoulders, how it has those kind of um, deeper areas where it creases, and you have those lighter areas where naturally the light would hit it to cause the highlight. Kind of like what we are doing in the beginning with the contouring and highlighting on my face, you want to do the same thing with this. Anything that has a shadow has to have a highlight and vice versa. That's going to make it look more realistic and people are going to buy it a little bit more. But yeah, just adjust your wig a little bit and you're good. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how good this came out because I haven't body painted anything in a very long time. Work and adulting takes up way too much of my time, so I don't get to do fun things like these. So if you guys did enjoy this or at least made it till the end of this video, thank you so much. Um, yeah. If you want to see anything else on my channel, just let me know in the comments down below or wherever they move them in the future. Um, yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and yeah. This was a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!